Hi, Steve Moss with Moss Harp Service. Today I'd like to show you a short video demonstration of how to lubricate a pedal spring. If you have a pedal that makes a creaky noise when you move it, especially from natural to sharp, chances are the spring has dried out and needs a little bit more grease to quiet it down a bit. So that's what we're going to cover today. I'd like to thank Leah Kidwell Fernandes, uh, both for offering her use of her home for a few harp regulations, as well as for help in shooting this video. If you're interested in more about Leah, you can find her on the web at Upstate harpist.com and another warning whenever you work with pedal springs please wear safety glasses pedal springs can be dangerous should they unexpectedly fly off the harp into your face now this is very rare but you don't want to take any chances so wear your safety glasses all right let's get on with it well I'm going to start just by removing the base and the base is held on by four bolts that are designed to fit the tuning key that goes with your harp. So that's convenient. I'm going to put a pedal in natural just to hold it on so it doesn't fall off on me. Unscrew these four bolts. Don't have to take them out of the base. They can just kind of sit in there. Now this harp does not have a problem with a squeaking spring. This is just a harp that's available for demonstration, so I can't give you a before and after sound. The F, F pedal sounds fine, but it, if you have a pedal that creaks when you move it, especially from natural to sharp, it's very often that the spring needs a little more grease. So that's what we're going to demonstrate here. All right, get all four bolts off and just pull the base off. Now, if you could pan in a little closer, Leah, I'm going to just uh, okay. show how to take the spring off. So I'm going to start by taking the spring all the way off. Just a little bit of nomenclature. Here's the pedal spring. Here's the pedal lever. And this is the spring stud. I'm going to take the spring off the stud. And let me rem remind you that uh, wearing safety glasses when you do this is always a very important idea. These springs can be dangerous. Uh, and I'm wearing my safety glasses now. Uh, I'm going to grip the pliers on the spring like that and put my hand here to keep it from popping off on me. And then just pull it out of the stud like that. And then to get it out of the pe pedal lever, I, usually it's necessary to pry a little bit and wiggle, so a screwdriver comes in handy for that. Okay, now I've got a little tube of grease, and this I get from McMaster Car Industrial Supply, and you can order it online at McMaster.com, and I will put the part number uh, on, as an annotation on this video. Uh, just dab a little, oops, dab a little bit of grease right in the hole where the spring came out on that side and also right here and then put the spring back into the pedal lever and that might take a little bit of assistance with a pair of pliers so I'm gonna have the pliers come help me press things in there come on baby So I'm wiggling, wiggling metal parts so it kind of helps them move if you need to move them. Alright, so that's back in where it goes and there's some grease in there with that. Now don't, don't need to put it in this one yet. We want to also put some grease on the coils of the spring, actually in between the coils of the spring. And in order to accomplish that, first we'll just lay some grease on the coils like this. And then or in order to work it in between the coils where it's going to do the most good, we want to twist the spring a little bit to open the coils up, like so. See how I, when I do that, the coils open up a little bit, and I can take a piece of rag or a brush and push this, this grease in between the coils. And you'll see, well, I don't know if you can see in the shot, but hopefully you can see that the grease has worked in between the coils and I think I could use a little more so I'm going to put a little more on and work that in twist and wipe I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom which may not be as easy to photograph but it's the same idea just twist the opposite direction 
Make sure I get that grease in there. So now I've got grease that's sitting in between my coils and also grease in the two spots where the spring is connected to the pedal and the stud. Now I just need to put the spring back on the stud. And there's a little notch in this end of the spring that helps it stay where it belongs. And sometimes it's a little bit of a challenge to get it lined up just right. So just try and hold it keep it from popping off at you. You should hear a satisfying smacking sound when it gets the notch gets in where it goes. Still not quite there. There. There we go. So now it's sitting sitting in where the notch is sitting in the stud and it should stay put just fine. And if you had a creak in that spring, it is most likely going to be gone when you get done with that. And then all that's left is to put the base back on the same way you took it off. It's a little challenging to line up the pedals sometimes, so maybe I'll just show you that while we're here. I put one in the D in natural to help me hold it while I line up these other pedals on this side. There we are, and just line up all of the base bolts, screw those back in with the tuning key. They don't have to be incredibly tight, just nice and firm. You don't want to hear wood crunching or anything drastic like that. I'm using my handy dandy harp technician work stand, but if you don't have that, it's fine to lay the harp down on its column and lean against a wall, or you can also lay it down on a bed or the floor. And uh, the bed's easier because you can hang the base off the end and it won't, the pedals won't get messed up. All right, and that is what is involved with greasing up a squeaky spring. So, there you have it. If you have any questions about your harp, please do not hesitate to contact me. You can reach me through my website, www.mossharpservice.com. Thanks for watching.